Hello and welcome to a brand new podcast from The Cricketer. It's called The Eleven and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm joined by two fun people, Ben Jones, cricket analyst. I can't say anything else at the moment. Cricket analyst Ben Jones and Nick Friend. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. So we're here to talk about an 11 of corridor cricket players. Now, this seems a bit random, but there are many, many reasons why we're going to do it. One of which is because Ben Jones was there where the concept of the Corridor Cricket Eleven first came into being. Ben, do you remember the where and when and how and why and who? Um, I remember the vague where, which is the <laughs> um, the bit between the top of the media. Well, it's the top of the media centre at Lords, um, and it was during a rain delay, as far as I as far as I remember. Um, and we were desperately, desperately, desperately bored. Um, and I was doing a lot of shadow batting uh, because that's what I do when I'm when I'm bored and when I'm not bored, to be fair. Um, and you were commenting on the various techniques that I was using and, you know, their appropriateness for the, you know, the relatively small bit of bit of corridor in the media centre that we were in. And um, yeah, and, and it developed from there because we're all naturally inquisitive cricketing minds and, you know, we will create content out of literally anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think that that's probably a very, very good, summary of what happened um we all should have been doing some sort of work and we weren't basically but look it's come to this you see it's created work for ourselves at the end of it which is perfect work is a really really interesting uh, kind of term for whatever this is (laughs) but no but it was that wasn't it because it was what to give it some actual kind of respectability it was about the idea of no don't give it that (laughs) it was about the idea that we you know we all all cricketers techniques are in essence you can talk about the difference between t20 and test etc etc but all cricketers techniques have been developed for playing cricket on a grass bit of turf out in the middle of a field and having a bit of leather hurled at them that's that's what cricketers techniques are for but we all play various versions of it when you know we're in we're in weird confined situations which little did we know how prescient that would be at the time um and actually kind of working out who which players you know would adapt best to the new challenges of um what could probably now be called quarantine cricket rather than corridor cricket. Um, you know, I think that is, that is, there is genuinely a bit of interest there. Um, just trying to justify the chat early on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't justify it. This is top brow cricket content. You know, this is really important things. We're going to be launching a big project off the back of it. Anyway, more on that later. First of all, I told these guys about, I don't know, a few days ago to go and get a shortlist together of uh, the players that they were in their corridor 11 unfortunately what i didn't do was give them the rules of what corridor cricket actually is as devised via twitter about six months ago which means that i think you guys have got a number of people that probably don't qualify on your lists is that right well yes it's a little bit like um you know right back in the day when maybe you'd have you're like when you turn up in a club game and they think you're playing 40 overs you're actually playing 50 overs it's all etc etc it's not it's on an astroturf wicket so you know we're just trying to recreate a bit of the 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 genuine specificness of real club cricket um but yeah in in other words half the names i had are illegal they've been banned by by a supreme leader moore's head over there (laughs) thanks very much i never saw myself as a supreme leader that's great um, do you think it would be helpful to run through the, uh, the, yeah, uh, the rules? I was thinking about this. So I'm going to run through them very quickly, very quickly, because there's there's actually there's only 15 rules in corridor cricket um, as defined by me. So are these, are these rules or laws? Uh, well, I tried to get the MCC to formally ratify them, but they wouldn't do it. So they're still just rules at the moment. Um, I don't blame the MCC that much. It's quite a trying time. Hopefully next year, when everything's calmed down, that they will see sense and actually put them into formal law. Um, but first of all, it's it's rules. So um, back- although, to, although, to be honest, if the MCC aren't replying to your emails right now, then, you know, there, there's no real excuse. There's not a huge amount on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They replied then. They just, <laughs> they just said no. <laughs> um, I, I don't blame them too much. Um, just a little bit. Anyway, um, batting. Very simple. The whole thing about corridor slash office slash one tip cricket is that you're trying to survive. That's the, that's the whole point. You're not meant to be scoring runs. There's no big shots. So rule number one is no attacking shots. And that's as by fair consensus in the room. There's a bit of a trouble here if you're playing yourself at this game using the wall as the bowler but we'll come to that at another time one ball per sorry one run per ball survived and first ball grace you can't be out first ball 
three misses and you're out non-consecutively. Ball hits the body three times, you're out non-consecutively. Uh, no LBWs. You can't be bowled because there are no stumps. But if you hit a window, a ceiling, a pet, your mum's favourite vase, anything like that, you're out. Um, bowling, no run-ups, obviously, and no fast bowling. Uh, now, fast is a loose term that can be defined by the group, um, but it means don't wang it down. You're only going to be about 10 yards apart. Just be nice to each other. You're in quarantine together for a long time. No cabbaging. Now, that means, before anyone gets any other ideas, delaying the delivery to encourage full shots. It doesn't mean anything else. No 15-degree rule on the straightness of the arm means that you can do lob it in all sorts of directions. It's one hand, one bounce, including off the walls or the batsman. And you can put bins, buckets, guitar cases, whatever you want around the place to add in as extra fielders around the bat. Finally, electric keeper. Ben, Nick, what's an electric keeper? Ben I don't know, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what are we well, saying? Electric... So what, any, what, so if you, if you nick one to whatever's behind you, you're out. That, that, that offside. Is the sort of offside. Nick, offside. Nick on the off if you nick it on the offside, we don't have a very nimble keeper, but he's got very long arms, so he can catch everything on the offside, um, but he can't get down the leg side. Interesting, interesting. That's a very specific kind of man that we've got there. Um, <laughs> forward, to be fair. <laughs> do we, do we um, have so an optimal... Go. You say 10 yards, do we have an optimal distance here, or is there is there leeway on the... No, I mean, there's... Size? Every different corridors are of different lengths nick i mean we can't we can't just say everyone must have 10 yards or 8 yards or 12 yards or whatever it is so uh, no corridors are however long a corridor is so it's completely applicable to your environment i mean that is right up there isn't it in terms of the great cricketing sentences it's kind of <laughs> ah, <look. laughs> no, cmj a corridor is as long as a corridor is <laughs> ed moore's head 2020 <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I like to consider myself to be quite a philosophical human being, and I think that that's quite a quite a thinker. <laughs> um, so, with all that taken into consideration, I suppose there are some broad rules that we probably <laughs> or not. That we need. Yeah, or not, or disregard it completely <laughs> um, for the purposes of entertainment. Um, <laughs> if we could just quickly sketch through the fact that I thought I was allowed as many fast bowlers as possible, and thus my t <laughs> my team was made up of. Brett Lee, Lassith Malinga, Shoah Bakhtar, and Jasprit Bumrah. <laughs> so I've, um, I've somewhat been screwed by the uh, you can't wang it down because if, you know, they, they all do a fair bit of wanging. Um, I mean, yeah. they might do a fair bit of cabbaging as well, but they, do Cab a, they cabbaging, certainly do some wanging. Cabbaging permitted. Cabbaging permitted. Wanging not permitted. Easy. Okay, it's good stuff. Okay. So we're disregarding that on the grounds that it's not really fair. Um, the cut, but other than that, I think that we've now got a new kind of element added into the mix, which is the idea of the 15 degree rule, i.e. the mm -hmm. Chucker's Charter. So yeah. now we, so we've got all of all of those guys that were banned in, you know, by the ICC before the 2015 World Cup. They're all on the table, we should say. Yep. Okay. They are all on the table. They're all there. And they're okay. perfect for this game. The whole the whole point of this game is to get people to miss the ball or to play a full shot into the hands of a waiting uh, fielder close to the bat. Um, not just wang it down because you can't get bold. So it's really unfair if you just throw it really, really quickly and just get the guy to miss it three times in a row. That's no fun or for retired, anyone. Retired hurt is a lovely option as well, isn't it? So <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to, Dave. Pin him once. Pin him once. You can get taken out of the attack. You can have a bat. <laughs> Look, I in my 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 point of view is if we're not allowing attacking shots which is the whole point of the game it's about patience um and seeing out deliveries and not just hitting it all over the place you can't have fast bowling because that's the equivalent what you want it to be is a um a gif that goes around on twitter in early april of a slightly anonymous division two county championship batsman leaving the ball that's you want proper cricket you want hardcore real cricket you don't, don't want any and nothing exciting you just want Except it you can't yeah. leave the ball though ben don't leave okay. the ball because you leave the ball three times and you're out. Okay, yeah, that is quite a, quite a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I really, yeah, I really should tell. You, I am getting to grips with this in real time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nick, yes. who who would you like to put on the table as um, our potential opening batsman in this corridor cricket eleven? I like Keaton Jennings, but more for his short leg stuff. 
<laughs> so you're getting a specialist fielder in just straight away? Is this what well, I no, I mean, he's, he's going to open the batting as well, but, you know, he's he's a good player of spin. I feel, like, I feel like the sweep's quite an important shot in this as well, isn't it? So if you can sort of paddle and yeah, I've paddle seen and reverse play this. and... So, I've seen you play this game, and the, there is there are two types of sweep. One of which is fine in this game, and one of which isn't. A paddle sweep yeah, is absolutely can, fine. But you've got you've got no keeper leg sides. If you can sort of flip the paddle rounds, you you know just sort of over your, over your back shoulder, you're fine, aren't you? So well, except you can get caught off the wall. Yeah, but you know, such is life. And then yeah, as I say, once you get in the once you're in the fields, I mean, one of the best short legs going, isn't it? So, so there we go. I'm very happy with that on the grounds that, yeah, Jennings is in in many ways, he has a test career as a specialist in terms of being a specialist spin or batsman against spin and batsman in Asia. So it's kind of in keeping with his broader career that in, in this new format um, that we've created, well, co-opted for content reasons, um, he's he's still going to have a career because of one very specific part of his um, yeah because of of his skill. I like that. I'm gonna I'm I'm happy to 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 second Jennings. My my one was slightly more um, kind of a bit a bit more boring and maybe not as creative. But I was just, I was just going to bring in the idea of Pujara because even though he's obviously a number three. I feel like there are very few openers whose main skill is their defence, not the leaving of the ball. And as we've established this whole time that we've been recording the podcast, I definitely knew that you weren't allowed to leave the ball. And so it's important that we have guys with very good defensive techniques, such as as Jay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw him into the mix as well. He's also going to play very straight where there are, there are very few, few fielders. You can't really have a wall right in front of the batsman um, due to physics. Um, and so I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back him in that particular way. He's not going to be as, an, as agile a fielder as Jennings. But, um, but yeah, like you say, they're kind of offering different things. Left hand, right hand as well. Not that that massively matters. But, you know, it's good to <laughs> appease, appease the traditionalists in some sense. Well, hang on, sorry. Here's another question. I mean, left hand, right hand combinations, presumably you're batting one at a time. Hence, hence that it doesn't matter at all. But equally, you yes, know, yeah, I, just thought I'd, I just thought I'd clarify the. I just thought I'd really nail down the, the quite how little that matters. <laughs> quite hard to nail down these rules made of jelly. <laughs> but no, it's excuse me. Excuse me. I thought long and hard about these rules. It's, it, it took me at least two or three hours on Twitter. It was a good, big project. This one, which as we know, within the first fifteen minutes of the podcast, please, Ben Jones. <laughs> Okay, so did did you yourself have any uh, suggestions, Sam, for for openers? Well, what about boycott? First of all, have a mindset that you're not going to get out. Simple as that. They can't get you out. You just keep batting and have concentration and patience. I mean, we're talking we're talking about patience, and you have to be patient as well here and blocking out. Um, then I, boycott has got to be a shout. Also, I've got Wally Hammond. Who's got three of the top uh, twelve longest innings in Test by balls faced? Now, if you want someone to to stick it out there, you want someone who's got proven ability to stick it out there. God, he's he's really brought the stats out for a for a format. Which yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm suddenly shuddering at the idea, given that frankly, my batters hadn't been a had not been picked on. Um, <laughs> I, I hadn't I hadn't done what you would describe as picking a traditional top six. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm genuinely concerned by, by, by what you're raising here. <laughs> well, I, I I think that they're they're just uh, two shouts. You don't have to include them. You could in fact have six openers and then five spin bowlers in this if you wanted to. There's no there's nothing against that. Um, so I just think you know there's got to be a bit of weight on performance at the highest level in terms of stability. I like the idea of boycott as well because, um, you know, in terms of notorious stories um, with boycott being run out at various points of his career, etc., removing the <laughs> need to run might actually be quite quite helpful. Which did come into consideration for one of my uh, quite a few of my middle order who were slightly less than agile. It would, it would be fair to say. Can you just can you imagine it? He he just would never he'd never get out. He would never get. He he only ever wanted to bat, didn't he? And he just wanted to stay there. And that's all. This is oh, that's all. What this is about is just staying there. He can't leave the ball. That's the only issue. You, you would have to play at every delivery. Um, I mean, in theory, uh, we have really, we have really removed all but one mode dismissal, haven't we? So, so you've got a decent chance to batter. Yeah. 
So what we so I think I I'm, I've been more persuaded by um I, I I've been persuaded to let go of mine like you know I love Pajara but no he's not quite as well suited and, and you guys spent more than ten seconds thinking of who should open so I think I think that we should blend these two and I think we should go for boycott and Jennings for the yeah the assured the assured stickability of a uh, boycott and if you, uh, if you don't like Jennings I'm willing to offer in re- in in return. Lahiru Tiramana for exactly the same reasons. What his similar short short leg? He's, he's very he's very good under the helmet at short leg, and he's a left hand opening bat who scored most of his runs on the subcontinent. I, I've got nothing more to add on him, but um, <laughs> <laughs> we, there's nothing. There's not really anything to say about the subcontinent. I mean, we're not talking subcontinental corridors. A large, <laughs> quite similar to, to really corridors. Good band, Really good band, Subcontinental Corridor, nineties <laughs> jazz funk kind of outfit. I would, I would say that, um, yeah. But you, in my head, it depends where you play. You are still going to have quite a wide variety of um, conditions in corridor cricket because you could be playing on, you know, wood panelled floors. You could be playing on very lush carpets, which are maybe going to be a bit, a bit more a kind of tennis ball bounce, especially if you are using a tennis ball. Um, so actually, yeah, I think we should take, you know, take conditions into consideration. Um, I, I, I can't call to mind all of Tiramana's uh, excellent short leg fielding um, in, in the, you know, in the, in the short time that we have, whereas Jennings are, you know, <laughs> fixed in my mind. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with Keaton and and boycott, um, and unless you guys, unless you guys think otherwise. Very, very happy with that. Okay, okay. In using a similar, um, a kind of similar mentality, I thought I want to go for someone who, as as the kind of boycott non-running thing. I've got, I've gone for Inzaman at three, um, (laughs) because he is not going to. you know, he's not, he's, he doesn't need to get up and down quite as much, but obviously incredible eye, impeccable ability as a player and also very tall, can ride the bounce and isn't going to be, you know, dropping too many for a, uh, you know, for a one hand, one bounce situation, which I know obviously we could be dealing with, you know, guitar cases rather than, you know, necessarily Jennings style fielders in, in, in close. But I do think the ability to, yeah, worry not just about giving catches, but, you know, Maneuvering the ball when you're defending close, I think that is quite important. So I'm going to I'm going to offer Inzi up first, and then see what you guys think. What What well, do we think? Is it, has he got the ability to not play an attacking shot? Has, has he got it in him mentally to not do that? I mean, he, he spends most of his time making daft remarks and stuff these days. Um, he's, he's not got a great deal of self restraint, has he? Yeah, well, we've got boycott opening the batting, Sam. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we've kind of disregarded that um, that level of. Uh, <laughs> You know that, that particular, and, and let's face it, they'd, have, they'd have a great chat as well, wouldn't they? I think it's. I think you know it's good to have. Uh, I think Duncan Fletcher talked about having the importance of you know three or four rogues in the dressing room. You know, let's let's give let's give them give so them. We're going to have two in our top three. Is this what we're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I I, th- I think it's important to have um, yeah some f- and as much as we're saying that uh, left hand right end doesn't matter. Um, I think if we're we're still having a traditional bowling attack bowl to these guys, it's good to have different sizes and shapes, which it's fair to say Inzaman does offer some different sizes and shapes, even across the course of his own career. Um, but I think, yeah, giving a different target to bowl to and, you know, maybe maybe using the room in a different way, using different angles, different different aspects of the corridor. I think it's, I think it's all important to take into consideration. OK, can I put forward mine? Is that allowed? Or if yeah, we just do it on your podcast? <laughs> Well, I think that we need the wall in the corridor, don't we? We have, we have to have Rahul Dravid. He's done well. He's done it. We all thought about making that change. I, exactly. I wrote Dravid down, but I didn't want to say it because, you know, <laughs> predictability, really. Look, I, sometimes the best things are predictable. That, that, can go, that can go alongside a corridor as a corridor. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have that. I love all of these quotes. Okay, yeah, no, Dravid, Dravid is um, a legitimate choice on purely cricketing reasons. Can I, like, can, I throw one in as, can I throw one in as a as a rogue? Shout, as I say, I didn't look at this as a traditional top six because because um, I, to be honest, that didn't really occur to me. I um I <laughs> I wrote down Matthew Hoggard <laughs> for survival. In, one of the great night watchmen in his pomp, wasn't he? Had True. nothing other than a forward defence and that sort of flailing cover drive off that wide Brett Lee full toss at Trent Bridge. 
I can't just remember ever really cover seeing drive. <laughs> it. It had one cover drive, but everything else was sort of dead bat. And he's, as I said, and once again, he talked about, you know, sort of characters, unusual shapes and sizes. Arguably, these days, not quick enough to, um, arguably these days, an all-rounder in this game, possibly slow enough to bowl. I'm fascinated here by the idea that we've, we've come up with a new, you know, a new form of the game. Or, you know, like I say, we've co-opted a new form of the game. Um, and actually, the pinch hitter, the T20 pinch hitter has been inverted. So now we're promoting, we're promoting yeah, we're sort of... tail enders just to block. I love it. We've gone all, we've gone full circle back to Test cricket night watchman. I'm all, I'm all over that. So well, interestingly, I've, I've also got, I've got the opposite written down as well. I've also got, and this sort of had to go when you, when you reveal the rules. But I also had Shannon Gabriel written down just because, you know, you, you want to clear a close fielder or two, don't you? Yeah. yeah okay. So get rid of short leg. Okay, so we're going to have to we're going to have to bring it up, Nick. We're going to have to bring it up. One of the main rules of the game is don't, well, yeah, I mean, don't play any stupid shots. Well, this is this is the issue, is there? I mean, since I've learned the rules, he's sort of been crossed off the list. But it was a time when I thought you can bring Shannon in, clear the close men, and then suddenly a free to do what you want, just knock it around a bit. Nick, it's a corridor. There only there only <laughs> are close men. <laughs> you can't go. Which is why. Which is why holds down. Right, there's social distancing measures in place now. You can't go out inside your own house. So, which is why ultimately I've thought I've crossed Shannon off, and I've thought Matthew Hoggard at three. What could go wrong? Okay. Well, okay. I mean, we could have Hoggard, uh, Inzi, and Dravid all in the same team. There isn't there isn't a rule against this. Just depending on who else is being nominated for the middle order. So maybe maybe we have to go down and see who else you've got for batsmen. And uh, okay. So I have um, these are my my kind of broadly sensible um <laughs> uh, uh, can we have the other ones as well <laughs> you know I, I i my nonsensible one um which increasingly given you know the overton window of uh, of discussion here um it was jack leach to bat in the top six because if we're mm. talking about the fact that you can't get caught down the leg side jack leach's most iconic shot is getting in behind it and tucking it down the leg side. So actually, that could be his most. He he might be best suited of anyone in the in the in the English game at the moment to uh, to potentially you know maximise that area of the corridor. So maybe that maybe that can be the case. But we also don't want to upset the traditionalists and having Hoggard and Leach in our um, in our top six might be three uh, and four. What an engine room! <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's it's Bell and Peterson. It's all over again. Um, my more sensible ones were um for similar reasons to the Jennings um. The Jennings idea was uh, James Taylor and yeah. uh, Tampa Bavuma, um, i.e. lads that are going to not take up very much room in the corridor, which is important. Um, and again, it's the, it's the indie high and low kind of thing, but also absolute gun <laughs> close fielders. It is important that we are maximising that because, as Sam said, no one is going to be more than about, you know, two foot away from the batsman. <laughs> so being, you know, having all those insanely close reactions. You know, Taylor can take those catches off Stephen Finn, who's bowling 89 mile an hour. Um, and actually, we, we've been instructed we're not allowed to wang it. So as long as the ball's not going to be coming quite as fast off the bat. So Taylor's, if anything, going to probably find this quite dull. He's probably going to catch everything, you know, maybe one handed, no bounces. Um, and so, you know, I th I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm seeing a very fielding focused top order forming, mm. but one with, you know, extremely varying height, which I quite like. <laughs> can we yeah, have... I, I, had, I had Taylor written down. Um, can we have them well, both then... legitimately? Can you have both Taylor and Bavuma? Yeah. Well, okay. So I, I suppose, and I never thought I'd have to say this. It comes down to whether or not you want Inzi or Hoggard in the top four, um, <laughs> which, which might, you know, it might be. Um, it, maybe we we want to commit to our our innovative structure, and actually, we're going to go. We're going to have Hoggard in there. Maybe give us some overs as well. So then we've got boycott Jennings, Dravid, Hoggard, Taylor Bavuma. <laughs> As our top six, I think that's gun. I'm, I'm happy. I have, I'm happy. Can, I, can I raise a possible number six? Okay. The, the um, Damien Fleming sweepologist. Okay. Alex Ross. I think the sweep shot is a very useful shot in this format, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't playing at the stadium, though. So it's, um, I mean, no, I, I, like, a ramp here, a reverse ramp there, a little nurdle around the corner, a little paddle that way, that, or that way. It's a very, Not I think. Nick, 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 they're bowling at about 20 miles an hour. You can't oh, reverse you can... ramp it. Also, reverse <laughs> ramp. Reverse ramp, you're out. If you reverse ramp it, you're out. <laughs> yeah, no, fair play. That's a, well, that is say, a really good point. That's, that's an option if we want to go a bit sort of novel. Ricky Ponting didn't play with very soft hands, but very, very good at silly point. 
We've named a lot of short leggers, not many silly pointers. That's fascinating. And that is an ex- ponting, that is an excellent point. And ponting no lid, which just I mean no no lid under the when he's when he's at silly point. That just I, I think that's just quite nice. Um sort of <laughs> reminder of if we're not having Inzi, a bit of guts in there. Someone's been a pretty hard nosed you know, one okay. of the one of the great players, as I say, very quite hard hands, but but you know, who cares? Where are Inzi and Hogg on the field in this? And a skipper, of course. Where, Ponting to captain. You can't you can't just have you can't have to make room in the field for Inzi and Hogger. I'm a bit concerned about the the fielding there. We because there are no slips. We can't just stick Inzi in the slips and go. Oh, he might catch them. Well, I thought we I thought we decided we wanted to go Hoggard at four above Inzi, and then go Bavuma, Taylor, Ponting as two players. No, Nick, you're just listing your suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I think there's there but is I, one... thought we just, I thought I decided. <laughs> There is one thing to take into consideration here, which is that there, yeah, Sam is right. There is nowhere to hide um, in the field. We, you know, you can't really keep people out of the game. I, the one at uni, um, one of we we lived in our first year on a really long corridor um, that was kind of the dream for corridor cricket. Um, and I remember we were playing once, and the, this one person had come along and they didn't really know they, they just wanted to kind of join in and so we said okay just kind of stand there basically basically at like a very short straight mid on um thinking you know the ball's not going to come the ball's not going to come to you there it's all about in and around the bat and um i ran up and because i'm terrible and have no shoulder i just bowled like a half tracker and um we didn't play the no attacking shots rules because we were you know bloody lads um and they and he rocked, but the batsman rocked back and hammered it straight at the guy at mid-on who had never seen a cricket ball in his life um, and hit him flush in the chest. And I don't think he ever involved himself in a, another ball of cricket corridor or otherwise. So I think we, need, we, do, need, we do need to acknowledge that, you know, you, you can't hide in the field. Everywhere is, you're either going to get hit in the face close or hit in the face far away. Um, maybe slightly, you know, slightly less of a risk when you've got Sam's, Slightly boring rules uh, constraining the batsman, but, um, but yeah. it's not boring rules, Ben. It's just making a better game. It's organised fun. Come on, <laughs> very, it's very, it's very health and safety, isn't it? Yeah, it's very much the high, it's high vis cricket. Um, <laughs> I don't mind it. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with Ponting. I feel like you know, I, it, it almost feels a little bit heretical to have him in there. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, you know, what's the phrase? I'm, I'm vetoing that. So I think. Where where are we at with our top six? With that, with our top six now: Jennings, Boycott, Dravid, Hoggard. I wanted I want in there now. Are because... we going? Are we going Taylor Bavuma or? or... Yeah, I let's want... go Taylor Taylor Bavuma and Inzi can come in at seven. We'll have Inzi at seven. I'll say because we've got Hoggard in the top six. We've got bowling option in the top six. No, no, so exactly. we're See, I, I think I actually think the bowling discussion is far more interesting than the batting one. Okay, you know, well let's, let's hope so. I think I don't think we want to use up any bowling spots where we don't have to. Okay. Okay. Well, he can he can be a floater, but I think we should I think we should leave that there and move on to. Well, we, I suppose we've got to take the discussion of do we do we need um, although we haven't got a wicket keeper, do we need any specialist slippers who are potentially going to be on the angle where it's not it's not hit the back wall, but it but it's hit you know it's slightly wide it's, it's, it's into in, the in the doorway that goes into the bedroom. Yeah, that... exactly. Yeah, because, yeah. It's, it's the next room along, but it's not, it's a wide nick. It's like a gully. Do we need any specialist gully fielders or backward point fielders? I.e., do we need Paul Collingwood batting at seven? <laughs> was was going to be my my oh, one oh, dead, bat, dead bats as well, isn't he? Yep, a... dead dead bats it. He can field like a gun. Excellent arms. It's all you know. It, it, it's all going in one direction for Colling. So and some gentle, uh, some gentle off cutters if needed. Yeah, exactly. A very, few variations as well. And again, just taking pressure off the bowlers if things do go wrong. I think it is important. Nick's going hyper aggressive with the bowling strategy, but I want, I want a release, uh, a release strategy. I reckon, I reckon you go Collingwood for one of Taylor or Bavuma. Okay. That's well, well, James Taylor follows me on Twitter, and Tampa Bavuma doesn't, so I'm having I'm having Taylor in there. So there we go. That's that's the that's the final selection. <laughs> um, bowlers, which, as Nick says, is more interesting. Um, I especially now we've relaxed all regulations. Yeah, yeah exactly. Some degrees. Yeah. 
you have to. You have to. Yeah, there there are corridors where a full bowling action just won't work. You'll just break your hand. You have to think about these things. This is true. So obviously, first up, I think the the man that we can all agree would will be the you know the the corridor goat um, is Sunil Narayan. I think he's basically the only one who I definitely want in because a he chucks it, which is great. Um, he's an ex- extraordinarily good limited overs player anyway, so he's very good at constraining runs and forcing the batsman to play, which is going to be interesting. And he gets quite un- a quite unusually large amount of bounce, which I think is going to be a bit difficult for, for the batsman to ride. And so as a result, there's going to be a few few chances close in for Jennings. Think, to be honest, and- if, we're playing on, if we're playing on like a tiled floor, any bowler is going to get an unusual amount of bounce, though, is it? Yeah, but... And the Ryan's going to get an even more unusual amount. I think this just, is just overheads and all sorts. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to be, and... be obscene. It's okay, be... if we're doing that, and there's two Sri Lankans that surely have to come into the consideration. Say, surely got to Jan... get, I'd have thought Murali would be sort of. And a Janta Mendes. See, these are all in my team, so it's fine. This is this well, is. This I, is I, I've what... written down Mendes, but I actually hadn't bothered writing down Murali because I just assumed you sort of started with him and worked your way up. Okay, so we're, so I'm I for all the same reasons we're, we're all talking about stump to stump, even though stumps don't exist. So we, we've kind we've kind of all door got an image. Of, yeah, we've got an image of what the game should look like, but maybe we're kind of being lured in by the idea that it's all about kind of you know keeping things very tight and keeping things very very straight and narrow. Are there any kind of random, like elaborate spinners that could come into? Can, the, come I, into can the, I give yeah. you my re- can I give you my list of random elaborate spinners? Yes. Let's start with. Um, the the origin of the deuce for himself, Alex Loudon. Uh, uh, then we move quickly. I'll give you them all, and we can sort of discuss them. There was always there was always a rumor that Jigar Nake bowled one at Leicester. Um, the great Shane Shillingford, another this, one. This really is a rogue list, isn't uh, it? Nyan Doshi, the first great T Twenty spinner, arguably, arguably. Uh, Pre test side Ajmal. Yeah, see that was that was that was in there. Um, Poonam Yadav, bit of air. Uh, now, would would Poonam work? I don't know. I, I don't feel know. like that, we, we, we it would hit the ceiling that. and it would bounce down the stairs, Nick. Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we would take. We would take a lot. Of, here's um, but my most interesting. So okay, this is very rogue, I guess. Um, I've written anyone that worked under Graham Welch, circa 2010, when yeah, he really came up. Have with, to, you have to. So really he talk. came up with the um. He came up with the old double bouncer strategy, didn't he? In white ball cricket, that then did get outlawed by the um, it got outlawed by the ECB. I think Nate, so, so Nathan Dumelow, um, having bowled the first one by accident, cleaned up Darren Stevens <laughs> with a double bouncer. So he'd sort of he'd be in that chat as well. Around, I mean, if we're talking about you know great innovators of the game, the accidental oh. do- double bouncer straight in there. Uh, <laughs> Billy Root, Kedar Jalav, interesting no. action. Kadar is a great is a great show. I like that. Marlon, Marlon. <laughs> I don't know if this cricket ball is too much of a wang. Is it wang or sort of sort of still sort of like wangette, like baby well, wang? Ha- I guess we'll have to defer to the wangologist um, Sam, <laughs> who's going to probably have to you know vet vet all this now. And maybe yeah. put an explicit maybe put an explicit <laughs> warning on the podcast as well. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of bleeping and stuff. I, I, I don't, a, a wang is you can't be a spinner and wang in it. Well, Marlon no. gave. I mean, Sheeda really gave it a good old wang sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, but he's still not bowling in the high double figures. That's okay, so doing. on that on that on that kind of theme, I was thinking about the opportunity. If, if we're looking at guys who hit batsmen, I was thinking mm. of someone who obviously we can't have a quick bowler, but we do want the opportunity to really, you know, put a, put a bit amongst them. What about Case Ahmed, who obviously is a leg spinner or a kind of mystery spinner, but does bowl a bouncer. Yeah. Is that allowed? Is that does that fall within the Wang range, the acceptable Wang range for yes. um, the, for the Wang? The Wang range approves of Kai Ahmed. I think it's quite a good shout to be honest, mm. because we get, also, all, we get all the benefits of all those toppy mystery leg kind of offy leggy spinners like Narayan, etc. But we do we get we essentially get an enforcer for free. We get Neil Wang Neil Wanger, ironically, <laughs> and <laughs> and Sunil Narayan smooshed into one bowler, and I think that's you know that's kind of. That's kind of invaluable in this new format that I definitely know a lot about. I'd also I'd also written down the great Satitra Senanayaka because basically anyone who bowled for Worcester. Well, no, for he, about he gives you sort of he gives you man cap potential if needs be. Another and, great um, man. And, There's no man capping in corridor cricket. That's, no, but it, it shows no it, it shows a certain innovation, doesn't it? 
So basically, you're saying that you're keeping them because you're kind of recruiting them on the basis that they're kind of rogue. That they're You've kind got of a lovely douche. Well. And their and their will their willingness to kind of go beyond traditional norms, and so they got to do what, yeah. Cause I think you got to do what you have to get what you have to do to get in it, to take the wicket because this can get in corridor cricket can get very boring very fast, can't it? I mean, you're really selling it, really selling it. Uh, we'll so, so you do need to you do Nick, need someone who's going to keep the energy up. And... To be clear, Nick, we're about to launch a national competition of this. <laughs> you're, you're you're not meant to say it can be very boring. To be fair, all cricket can be very if boring. If someone if someone starts to bat long. You know, you've got to find a way of getting rid of them. And if that means pinning them with a beamer, then you pin them with a beamer. <laughs> if it means... I just love balls at the head. Douglas Jardine over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So on I, that note, Harold I, Larwood. <laughs> I have two, I have two um, to add to it from the, from the spinners list. Um, and they are Bernard Bosanquet, because, you know, the inventor of the googly has to be considered to be up there for variation. And you keep going so historical, Sam. You keep really taking <laughs> corridor cricket back to its roots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It did actually uh, it did actually begin in the parlour of some Victorian cricketer, I believe. It was the first game of corridor cricket. Someone's Googled corridor cricket five minutes before we've gone to air. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. That was probably a lie. <laughs> And then uh, the other one that I wanted, simply because off-putting actions, I think, should be considered in this too, because there's a lot of confusion. So I want, we're putting Paul Adams into uh, into yeah. the equation he here. Could, but he, I mean, a corridor would have to be wide enough for that action to sort of, you know, get through itself. He can he can be a wide corridor specialist. We, we, we like we're saying we're talking a wide oh, range. The w, the w, yeah, so when, when we're playing in state, when we've got our team playing in like stately homes Ooh, and stuff, we can bring yeah. Paul Adams in. It's absolutely fine. When we've got them playing in in tower blocks, then we just stick to some of the other guys. He's Easy. very much a fair weather corridor cricketer. Yeah. Only in the, only the no, To be clear, Nick, there is no weather in corridor cricket. It's all played inside. If anything, that's one of the major benefits of true, it. True. That is. <laughs> no, that yeah, I guess that that is why we're all locked up, isn't it? Okay, so we've got the um very dark, Nick. Um I think <laughs> I think we should probably say we need maybe we could have one of each kind of bowler. So we've got we can have one of the kind of mystery spinners, the chuckers from twenty eleven to twenty fifteen guys. And then we can go a bit rogue. So I, I'm going to nominate Narine because I do think he is the best of those bowlers. So I think we, I think he he does get in, um, although I could be persuaded to have Ajmal because he did. I nominate him, but he does get in. Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying, I'm just I'm making it clear that that's, you know. Oh, thanks for I'm having me. I'm laying down the law on that one. Um, but I'm more willing to accept the ro more rogue suggestions from you guys so you can argue out amongst yourselves for the remaining few. I've always just thought the Alex Loudon story is really funny. Um, We're not having Alex Loudon in this team. Okay, fun. Alex, I try my best. I think Murray probably gets in, doesn't he? Murray has to be in this team. Um, I wrote down, before the rules changed, I, I guess Michael Yardy's probably a bit quick, isn't he? He's a spinner, so he's not too quick. We've had this discussion four or five times now in the last ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, so Yardy, Yardy is unwangable, so he's, he gets to it. <laughs> But yeah, it's interesting because actually, with his angle, especially to the right hander, when he came from sort of quite wide on the crease, you can't go wide on the crease in corridor cricket, Nick. Well, no, but his angle, just his angle with quite a wide low arm, you know, he sort of there's potential there to to hit the bat, not hard, but like to sort of to cramp the batsman up and to hit them on the to hit them on the you know whether it's the rib or the hip, it's yeah. that and that's a miss, isn't it? So <laughs> again, for big for big a corridor, corridor, a heavy corridor ball. So him and Paul Adams can sort of rotate in and out for the big corridor role. Yeah, yeah, fine. So the, the, B, the BCR. <laughs> <laughs> well, the BCR and the WCS. Sam is getting quite annoyed. <laughs> the, uh, the, the you're increasing, just making up, the you're increasing up acronyms now, which no one will understand because they're nonsense. Look, this is important. This is a really important thing. I think, and I've thought this for quite a long time, there, is, there are about four people in the world who actually like cricket. I think I'm one of them, but basically everyone else just likes all the funny words, the fact that, that people wear mainly white clothing and it all looks very clean. You get to go and get drunk at the game. And everything else is essentially, like, it's all about that. It's all about the fact that there are words like googly and it all sounds a bit rude. So if we're going to invent, if we're going to, you know, really go beyond with this new format we need to have silly words otherwise no one's gonna pay we've attention already, to it we've already got the wang index and cabbaging so I mean, what? And, thus, welcome. and thus was born nathan dumelow 
you see, it's all it's all uh, it's all part of the system, Sam. So I'm I'm happy to um, I'm, I'm I am happy to fully defer on this because I think I've I've got the one that I wanted, which was Narine. So who else are we going with? I mean, you've got the one you wanted because you've just not let anyone else have anything to say with that. <laughs> Narine, Narine, Narine will struggle with the bat, won't he? He's he's not not known for his ability to to sort well, of. Well, he's maybe more of a slog. He's a slog sweeper rather than a, a paddle sweeper. He's yeah, mm. he's more KP than um than maybe kind of triscophic kind of thing. He's not going to be able to just leave it round. But you know. It's when we're looking for unconventional. He is a very weird batsman. So we're allowed think... to have, yeah, we're allowed to have one out and out number eleven in this. We're not going through the Malali Giddens Ormond stage. We know yeah, one. I feel, like, I feel like it's not really fair for us to say that maybe the tail's a bit long when we've got Hoggard at four. Like, <laughs> come, on, come on, guys, let's draw. Let's be consistent here. We take, you know, so on the right knows what he's doing. Um, I'm going to throw one more guy in there just because, you know, I feel like you guys are refusing to pick anyone now. Um, but I'm going to say Anil Kumble could be quite an interesting one, just because he was a bit, he was quick, mm. so, and, and he would he would fall oh, within the acceptable wang yeah. range, yeah. And, because he is a spinner. So, he's get, you know, you're getting that well, slight sense of, you know, things are things are, are heating up, but mm. he did bowl with a lot of topspin again, so it, he's going to get even more unusual, unusual bounce. So, and he spun it enough, that you're still going to get the opportunity to nick off to uh, to to the wall, as it were, um, but not Dravid. To not be clear. the one that's batting three, etc. Yeah, the, the actual um, physical wall. Yeah, the actual one, bricks and mortar. I, I don't I don't dispute Kumble. However, on principle, I do worry about doing a podcast to discuss the best team for this, and then just coming out, ending up with a bloke who took 800 Test wickets, and then a bloke who took what, 500 plus test wickets. We might as well then get a whole hog and go warm, Harbajan. I get. I guess what we're saying is that, um, you know, all cricket is cricket. And I, I, don't, I don't think there's any, um, there's anything wrong with disputing, you know, the fact that a lot of people get very, you know, very twitchy <laughs> about 100 and T20 and all this, you know, pyjama cricket. You know, at the end of the day, cricket's cricket. And I think, I, I don't know why you're being so conservative about this, Nick. Why you're... <laughs> While you're kind of trying to hark back to the golden age, I'm. I. I think. I think if you're a good cricketer, you're going to be able to adapt. And I think Kumble's got. All, I, I think Kumble's a good bowler. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. But cricket's <laughs> cricket. Cricket's <laughs> let's clarify. Yeah. Let's clarify that. I don't think at any stage there did I say <laughs> Kumble is not a good bowler. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. But cricket's I, cricket. A corridor is a corridor. I think. I think we're saying definitely Narayan. Apparently. I think we're all fairly fair, we're all fairly agreeable on Murali. Yep. Yes. And then then we're sort so what have we got three spots. I oh this we we can't really have him because technically he's a seamer. But do you remember Gloucestershire's Carl Greenwich, the early T Twenty era, bowled off like a four step run up, which in a small corridor, very useful. There's no run ups. <laughs> Why aren't you listening? That is true. To that is true. Sorry. Ignore. <laughs> ignore. Four steps is crucially more than no steps. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. You've got two spaces actually left. If you've got Collingwood batting down there as well. Yeah, which I've, I, again, I'm, I'm putting him I thought we went Collingwood for Bavuma because Bavuma doesn't follow Ben on Twitter. Was that not the, was uh, that no, not that, how that discussion ended? That, that was true. We had Inzi um, in there as well, though, didn't we? So it's, we've got to seven before we got to the bowlers. I'm going to defer to Sam's uh, knowledge because he is at least writing it down. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> um, this could this could come to absolutely nothing when we realise we've forgotten everything that we've said for the last 45 minutes when it comes to to actually naming the eleven. I think Ian Harvey, purely for his slower ball, is quite a pleasant option. As is Benny Howe. Yeah, uh, I like that. I like that. I'm happy. Uh, I'm, I, I feel like we we need we need a change up. We need someone who's not bowling skiddy toppies um, well if you're talking about variations then Howell is king of the variations isn't he okay so Howell or Harvey which one are we going with I think given our already sort of English sort of prominence in this side bias could go bias to... Nick. <laughs> I refrain <laughs> <laughs> we I think Harvey as the original certainly at Gloucester um, you know in terms of the funny little slowies and and I watched some of his videos this morning as well, so my mind is is only thinking of those ones. Um, I, I like Ian Harvey. I don't mind really. Harvey and Hal. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Harvey. I think Harvey Harvey's a fun one to have, and it's nice to have people from slightly different eras as well. So yeah, 
we'll mix it up a little bit. So we have one person left to come into our team. So do we have so enough bowl? Do we have well, enough bowling, or can we? Pick, I'm not sure. We... We, I, I think we need to. I think we should lose a batter and and add a bowler here. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And who and who do we want that to be? Who is the who is our, our kind of our super sub, our Simon Jones, our Vikram Solanke kind of? We've not gone. We've not got pre-test Ajmal in yet, have we? And he was okay. Well, he is going in because he was all. He, you know, I, we we established early on. I established early on that this is the this is the kind of best group of bowlers to have. So I think having three of them is genuinely a good option. Um, and like we said, Ashmal played for Worcester, so that is that does benefit him as well. Um, so I I think I think that's a team. You you made a noise when I said when I said Kedar Jadav. I like the, I mainly just because. It, I feel like when you're coming with these kind of 11s, yeah, you kind of just think of weird cricketers and Kedo Jadav is a very weird cricketer. Although he, I, I think he's almost, um, he might have to be another um, wide corridor specialist because he does come from very wide mm. crease and he comes from around the wicket as well. So that's kind of, yeah, he, he needs an, he needs an exceptionally wide corridor. Do you but, think that someday in, in, the, in the future, someone will be debating whether we should play wide corridor and narrow corridor cricket at the same time? There's going to be a Twitter account called Oppose the Wide Corridor. Um, it's going to it's going to be like it's going to split cricket in half. Um, yeah, it's it's going to it, it will be the new culture war because there need there must be culture wars for there to be content. Um, so you know if there's one thing we can rely on, that's that's going to be a, a factor of cricket culture to come. I've I've also got down here specifically Carl Hooper bowling to Nasser Hussain. I don't think that's quite on. Oh, nothing you can do about that. So I'd like, I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> I did like think that delivery. That. I'd like that delivery, but only that delivery. Okay, yeah, no, that's going in. That is that 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 delivery is going to bat number eleven for this team. The Carl Hooper delivery to Nasser is saying. I also wrote down because I briefly lived in the US and I can't remember anyone else's name. But having scrapped the the fifteen degree law, could we bring in Phillies pitcher Kurt Schilling? <laughs> Again, you're going to have to talk us through it. <laughs> well, I mean, he plays baseball, and he's so he's very good at the throwing of the ball. Um, okay. And I believe he was a very successful pitcher. And presumably, they do, they've got ones that are slower. Have you I mean, just picked? I'm sorry. I mean, they do. They've got they've got all kinds of variations. Could we bring in? <laughs> could we bring a bit of baseball into into what we're doing here? But you you think uh, out of all the cricketers that have ever played the game, <laughs> all the cricketers, <laughs> hypothetical cricketers that we've almost made up. Single deliveries, you think just a baseball pitcher, which would would be better. Which <laughs> form of the game, which is almost the definition now, of wanging it. I, <laughs> I should say, I should say, I should caveat that with with the fact that I, I don't think I wrote him down or or said him with with any great sort of seriousness to to the point. Okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna have to just take a rule. Like I'm gonna just... defense from Nick, but you know, so we'll cricket, so cricketers only is that what we're saying? I'm gonna make a ruling here just to remind you of 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 what the, the sort of base outline of this whole idea is that we're picking from cricketers, not cricketers from. Cool. Oh, I might permit a single delivery to bat at eleven. That's yeah, no, that, not... is, that is that is the team. That that does make the team. So what? So where are we? What what have we now got? What is what is our We've got, we've got we've got we've currently got an eleven that consists of at the top of the order Keaton Jennings and Jeffrey Boycott. Correct. Um, the wall is in at three. Nice. Uh, Matthew Hoggard apparently comes in at four. Yep. Uh, at five is James Taylor. Yep. Six is Inzamum. Yes. Seven is Paul Collingwood. Yes. Eight is well. This is a big tale. So uh, where do we start? No, we've got, <laughs> we've, got Benny, we've got um, Ian Harvey, in, haven't we? Oh, sorry, Ian Harvey. Ian Harvey at eight. Syed Ajmal at nine. No, and um, Narine at nine. Sunil Narine at nine. Matama Alithran and Syed Ajmal. That would make eleven. Or we could drop Ajmal and put in Carl Hooper's delivery. To that's Absolutely. Say. Absolutely. <laughs> of course, the fact that Carl Hooper's delivery can only bowl one delivery does leave us a little bit short. But I think it's but fun it to have. It's tremendously it. consistent, doesn't it? Yeah, no exactly. Ball, no bad balls. <laughs> you know what? And then getting. we've got we've got options if we're playing in a wide corridor. We can bring in Paul Adams and Michael Yardy. Yeah, they're the twelve. Janab as well, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe even Jeremy Snape with his moonball. That's, that's a high corridor. That's a high ceiling one. 
Um, how many, how, just to be clear, how many wide corridors with low ceilings are there? I mean, they're, they're not very, they're not very often. Yeah, that's like, that's like finding a raging burner at, at like Durham or something. You're not going to find wide corridor, low ceiling. Look, I think that one of the reasons why in years to come, Australia will dominate corridor cricket is because they around the country have very specific different kinds of corridors so like new south wales is very wide very shallow you're going to go to the you're going to go to perth and it's going to be really high ceilings but really narrow and actually that that kind of you know that variety of uh, of corridor is going to create a very ra- well-rounded cricketer so i think it's i think we've just got to take the you know just take the blinkers off sam and let let the game let the game grow because yeah who knows what it could be yeah <laughs> take, the, take the blinkers off. We've just spent 50 minutes talking about corridor cricket. I think um, the blinkers are, are well and truly off now. It's taken 50 minutes, but I think I'm starting to take this quite seriously now. And I do think that the variety of pitches is quite important. <laughs> <laughs> so to come so to come back to that team, I think that team definitely encapsulates all of the kind of odd, weird specifics of playing corridor cricket. It doesn't. It, it it doesn't look like a normal cricket team, which is important. It includes um, a role for a single delivery that exists in the past, not an actual player. Um, it has Matthew Hoggard at number four, which is fun and weird. But I also think there are kind of players in there that do seem quite logical, logically kind of embedded in the in the format, like Taylor and Jennings um, and and Collingwood to an extent. So I think I think we've got like an actual. That's an actual team. I feel like you'd you'd, you'd have to go some to have a rival podcast doing exactly the same <laughs> format, um, which, good God, I hope there's not. Um, if they came up with a team that could be our team, then I would be, I'd be very surprised, I would say. I'm disappointed to see Marlon miss out. I have to say. That... He's, a, he's a bowling option. Inzy's spot, in my eyes, is sort of, is sort of shining out right now as, a, as under threat from, from Marlon Samuels. I think something that has gone under discussed is the kind of um, the the role of sentimental objects in the corridor, um, i.e. the yeah the favourite mm-hmm. vases, the mirrors, etc. And Marlon, whilst he's not a true bad boy, I would say Marlon is very much the kind of guy that would accidentally smash a vase, and then when Mum comes in and says what's going on, he'd be like, he'd point, he, you know, he'd be stood there in his pads with his pads with his like feet on the desk, just kind of going, oh no, it was a. Uh, it was um, Carl Hooper's so delivery to Nasser Hussain, um, and he kind of blame it on someone else. So I'm, you know, I think I think we've got to have an element of if we're going to have all these bad boys in the in the top order, um, we need to have some some good team men further down. When he when he started saying that, I thought you were about to start debating which household objects we needed around the field. Uh, <laughs> Sam, can we do said... another podcast, please? <laughs> can we do another <laughs> podcast specifically for um, yeah, catching inanimate catching. objects? Catching success of inanimate objects and where to find them. <laughs> starting to lose interest. <laughs> um, we've got good, stuff. Left, we've good, got... good content. It's good stuff. I oh, know. Hashtag content. Well, hey, um, we've got eleven though. This is this is really important. We've managed it. We've completed a task today, which is yeah. which is really good. I think every day you need to complete a task at the moment, and we've done that, which yeah. is wonderful. Um, so, boycott, great. Jennings, Dravid, Hoggard, Taylor, Inzamam, Collingwood, Narine, Muralithran, oh, Har- Muralithran, and Carl Hooper's ball to Nasa Hussain. Perfect. The first, the first <laughs> eleven, the first eleven of the eleven podcast <laughs> is is complete. Wonderful. Which means that we have to we have to make sure that people are also aware that they can very soon play in the National Corridor Cup. Now this is this is going to be uh, this is going to run throughout the time that we're all stuck inside, um, and I hope you'll all take part. The rules will be up on the cricketers website and we've just discussed them at length for the last hour. So everyone who's actually um, managed to stick with us this whole time, and there can't be that many, are going to be able to have a have a look, have a listen um, and submit via video. Um, so I'm hoping, Ben Jones and Nick Friend, that you guys will be submitting entries for the Corridor Cup. Well, I will be. You've I would seen say that. Entry, in fact. I, would, I would say that I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to struggle um, due to the fact that I don't uh, I don't have a bat 
um, any kind of ball in the house. Um, and so it's going to have to, it might be maybe like, uh, you know, an orange and um, a, a big tube of toilet roll, which to be honest, probably actually costs more than a bat at the moment um, to get hold of. So who knows? Um, but if I can improvise, you know, something along those lines, then I, I will certainly be in getting involved. Um, anyway, right. Well done, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to say goodbye to Ben Jones and Nick Friend and let them go and do whatever else they're doing in quarantine at the moment. Goodbye, fellas. Goodbye. Bye, Sam. Let me know um, as and when BBC One do pick this up for a full series, if that's OK. Yes, I will do. Don't worry Thank about you. that. I, I expect that will be tomorrow. Um, it just It just has to be. It's a great guy. Great idea. Um, Take care, Sam. See you, guys. See ya. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. <laughs>